The last few weeks on Monday Night Raw, the Judgment Day's ominous presence has been looming over the red brand and most importantly, looming over the tag team division. Well, two men who have taken notice, main event, Jey Uso, as well as his brother Jimmy, the world tag team champions. Of course, these two teams met back at WrestleMania in a tag team match of the year candidate where the Usos won the World Tag Team Championships. And as we know, the rematch is set for a week from Saturday at Bakersfield, California at the Raw Exclusive Vengeance event when Finn Balor and Damian Priest take on Jay and Jimmy Uso for the World Tag Team Championship. But what is going to be the stipulation for that matchup in Bakersfield? We're going to find out up next as the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, takes on Jimmy Uso. The stipulation for vengeance hangs in the balance. We are live here in the Moda Center in Portland, Oregon for Monday Night Raw. Less than two weeks before the Raw exclusive vengeance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Jay Uso, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds. One half of the world tag team champions, Jimmy Uso. Well, the road to vengeance rolls through your main event tonight on Raw as the visionary Seth freaking Rollins returns to singles action as he goes one on one with one of Raw's newest draftees, Dijak, who we saw in action against Braun Breaker a few weeks ago on Velocity. Dijak's in the house here at Portland. He's going to meet Seth freaking Rollins in your main event. That is coming up later, but right here, right now, one half of the world tag team champions. Jimmy Uso, the weight of vengeance is on his shoulders tonight. It was a tag team match of the year candidate back at WrestleMania, but the ante is gonna be upped at vengeance. One of these teams will choose the stipulation for the rematch for the World Tag Team Championships. Will it be the Usos or will it be the former two-time tag team champions, Finn Balor, Damian Priest, the Judgment Day! And his opponent, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing The Judgment Day, from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest! The 2023 Tag Team of the Year are coming back for their throne. Return to action for the first time since WrestleMania two weeks ago and an impressive outing against another returning tag team, that being Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa of DIY. Balor and Priest pick up the victory two weeks ago. The Usos come out on the stage to draw the line in the sand. The Usos know what Priest and Balor want. They want their world tag team titles back. Very similar to Rhea Ripley looming over the women's division as of late. The Judgment Day are coming back for the gold that they lost at WrestleMania. And for Priest and Finn Balor, tonight is the chance to get the upper hand, to get the edge over Jay and Jimmy Uso on the road to vengeance one week from Saturday. Certainly a high stakes, high reward matchup to kick things off tonight in Portland, Oregon. Jimmy Uso, Damian Priest set to lock horns here on Monday Night Raw. And Jimmy Uso, Gonna meet Damian Priest in the middle as the bell sounds and we are underway. Certainly pressure on the shoulders of both of these men tonight. I'm sure both teams already have a chosen stipulation in mind for what that World Tag Team title matchup could be a week from Saturday when we get to Bakersfield, California at the Mechanics Bank Arena at Vengeance. Jay and Jimmy Uso were able to outlast the Judgment Day in a straight up tag team wrestling match. Back in the early part of March at WrestleMania, the Usos have been on a roll. Very few blemishes on the record of Jay and Jimmy since their Monday Night Raw return back in January. Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners here on the red brand turned away the challenge of the Street Profits just a few weeks ago at Backlash to retain the World Tag Team titles. Now Jay and Jimmy looking ahead to their next challenge and that's running it back with Priest and Finn Balor. As for the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest and the Prince. 
As we said with the Usos, you gotta believe they already have a chosen stipulation in mind. Priest and Balor have been at the top of the mountain, just as the Usos currently sit. Former two-time World Tag Team Champions, as voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year, Priest and Balor, desperate to get back what they lost at the grandest stage. You see there moments ago, Priest and Balor willing to do any means necessary to get the edge over the Usos. Balor exposing the turnbuckle. Jimmy's spine delivered right into the steel. You know, the Usos aren't going to complain. They're just going to keep swinging. As for Damian Priest, looking to keep up this momentum that he has found in your opening matchup tonight. And as we mentioned, still to come in your main event, Seth freaking Rollins squaring off with Dijak. Sure to be a heavy hitter here on Raw. Plus the WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan is going to have her hands full with one of Raw's newest draftees coming over from SmackDown. That being Piper and Evan. All that and more coming up right here on the Moda Center in Portland, Oregon on Monday Night Raw. Next time you see these Raw superstars on a live premiere event, it will be one week from Saturday. Saturday night, May the 11th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. We get to Vengeance, and Vengeance is already shaping up to be a high-profile evening that can certainly change the landscape of Monday nights. The Judgment Day! Look at the rain, the black and purple, over top of Raw all over again. As we mentioned, Priest and Bauer, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year. Wait a minute, hold that thought as Damian Priest bringing the fight to the outside, slamming Jimmy Uso right on the floor of the Moda Center. Jimmy in all types of hurt as Damian Priest looking to bring the punishment upon his opposer. As we are about to mention, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year, the Judgment Day. 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, Judgment Day member, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. In an iron fist, reigning over Monday Night Raw for quite some time. It all fell back at WrestleMania. Jimmy Uso's got to get back in here, makes it at the count of nine. Last in second, Jimmy Uso's got a chance to survive. Damian Priest is trying to get the victory by count out. Any means necessary, as long as you're getting the W in the mind of the Judgment Day. Damian Priest down and out momentarily, but Jimmy Uso has got to capitalize here. Priest and Balor are no stranger to going the distance in tag team matches and certainly not in singles either. Hot off the heels of that victory over DIY two weeks ago, the Usos know all about the game of the Archer of Infamy as well as the Priest. Excuse me, the Prince, that is, Finn Balor at ringside. Nonetheless, Damian Priest back into the corner by hands of Jimmy Uso, and Jimmy trying to rally this sold-out capacity crowd in the Moda Center. Ooh. Jimmy Uso fired up and backing it up into the corner. Damian Priest may have his lights turned off, but there you see Finn Balor waving and screaming at Jimmy Uso, trying to take his eye off the ball. Finn Balor and Damian Priest willing to stop at nothing to find a W. On this occasion, Jimmy Uso heard it off. Jimmy take it out, Finn Balor, who was mouthing off on the outside. Jimmy trying to divide and conquer, or he may be on the receiving end of that same strategy as Damian Priest recuperating in the ring and might have just knocked out Jimmy Uso. And a close call there, Jimmy able to get the shoulder up. Damian Priest nearing victory. Oh, wait a minute. If he didn't already near victory, he may be crossing the finish line. Razor's edge on Jimmy Uso. Priest into the cover. Stipulation for vengeance. Gonna be chosen by the Judgment Day, not just yet. Choosing the stipulation. Certainly something that could favor your team when the World Tag Team titles are on the line a week from Saturday. Both these teams want that advantage. Damian Priest, a couple of occasions there, almost putting away Jimmy Uso, not just yet, but you gotta believe the damage is done to one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Jimmy's gotta find a window of opportunity to get back in this matchup, but I don't know if Damian Priest is gonna allow that. He was dominating before Jimmy Uso survived the countout. Jimmy had a window of opportunity to close it, failed to do so, and now Priest is right back in the driver's seat. 
Now off the top, going for the elbow. Misstep by the punishment of the Judgment Day. And once again, Jimmy Uso trying to rally. Back body dropping a neck breaker. This is what Jimmy's got to do to keep down Damian Priest. It was Jimmy Uso who secured the pinfall victory. Back at Backlash to retain the World Tag Team titles. Jimmy willing to do any means necessary to get the one, two, three here tonight. Off the top, superplex. Damian Priest staring up at the lights of the Moda Center. Into the cover. Vengeance advantage, not just yet. Another close call in your opening matchup tonight. I'll tell you, tensions are riding high in the locker room as these Raw superstars prepare for vengeance one week from Saturday in Bakersfield, California. And certainly no match may be bigger than this World Tag Team title encounter, the WrestleMania rematch between the Judgment Day and the Usos. Both teams wanting to get theirs. As Finn Balor again trying to do any means necessary to take Jimmy Uso's eye off the ball. At some point, this is where the referee needs to step in and not allow the Judgment Day and outside factors to interfere in this matchup. Damian Priest willing to take advantage. Unfortunately for him, Jimmy is not done just yet. Over the bell, maybe wrong. Jimmy on the shoulders and getting hung up in the top rope. Trying to knock the win out of one half of the World Tag Team Champions. You know, that is twice now that Jimmy Uso is in firm control of this matchup. And Finn Balor doing anything he can to distract him at ringside. And Damian Priest has gotten back in this matchup because of it. Mean elbow right to the jaw. As the Archer of Infamy now. Starting to stack the offense on Jimmy Uso. Face first off the canvas. Priest with his eyes locked. Jimmy going for a ride south of heaven. The Usos looking to be in trouble. The Judgment Day have secured the advantage in my personal eyes for vengeance. The ball is now in the court of Damian Priest and Finn Balor by hook or by crook. The Judgment Day picking up the victory here tonight and they will get to choose the stipulation for the WrestleMania rematch for the World Tag Team Championship a week from Saturday. But we will find out that stipulation later tonight on Raw. How will the cards play out on the road to vengeance? Last week here on Raw, it was yet another victory for Big Bronson Reed, but the celebration was short-lived after the emergence of the Nigerian giant Omas, who simply called out Bronson Reed for a fight. Well, we can confirm that that fight is gonna take place one week from Saturday. Brunson Reed, one-on-one -on -one with Omas at Vengeance. Omas drawing a line in the sand, saying there's only room for one big man on Monday Night Raw. Who's gonna be the last man standing with the Nigerian giant meets the colossal Brunson Reed in the middle of Bakersfield, California. And also last week, another proverbial line was drawn after Braun Breaker making short order of Ashante the Adonis right here on Monday Night Raw. Another celebration that was seemingly short-lived. Braun Breaker's been calling out anybody who will listen. Braun Breaker wants competition. And now coming to the red brand, Breaker's got a whole locker room of fresh superstars to challenge himself against. Well, that competition stared the badass right into the eyes last week. The street champ, Solo Sokoa, stepping up. And now we can confirm that coming up at Vengeance, the badass meets the champ, Breaker, Solo Sokoa. These two men are going to run at each other full head of steam, and I don't think anybody wants to get in their way. Breaker and Solo coming up one-on-one -on -one at Vengeance. The road to Bakersfield continues to get hot and heavy as superstars want to get their piece of the pie, want their pound of flesh. The Monday Night Raw locker room is on edge as we approach the live premiere event known as Vengeance on Saturday night, May the 11th. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 200. 
12 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sammy Zayn. Well, let us take you back to two weeks ago. The Intercontinental Champion, Sammy Zayn, in action, one on one against Baron Corbin right here on Raw. Sammy Zayn, notably, not coming to this match 100% after he was just seven days removed from a incredible contest against Carmelo Hayes at the draft lottery. Baron Corbin taking advantage of a weekend Intercontinental Champion picking up the victory, but unfortunately was met with a disaster after the matchup. The arrival of the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross, who spelled the end of Baron Corbin's victory lap. Cross and Corbin had an alliance going back into WrestleMania in March. That alliance has really blown up ever since they came up short at WrestleMania. And it looks to me that Karrion Cross and Baron Corbin's paths continue to cross. Meanwhile, Sami Zayn found himself in the crosshairs a few weeks ago. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn tonight with his hands full against Cedric Alexander, somebody who had his eye on the Intercontinental Championship dating back to last summer here on Monday Night Raw. An opportunity in there with the champion, always a chance to earn yourself future contendership for the gold. And you gotta imagine, with Baron Corbin's victory over Sami Zayn two weeks ago, Baron's gotta be in line for an Intercontinental Championship match. I'm sure Sami Zayn is just looking to shake off the cobwebs and try to bounce back tonight with a much needed victory. The Intercontinental Championship still around the waist, but Sami Zayn not looking to be really in the eyes of many. A champion undeserving of his goal. All remains to be seen. Never want to doubt Sami Zayn. He's made a career out of being the underdog. And no matter the opponent, Sami Zayn get a fight like his life depends on it. Getting back into this matchup with that signature pop-up drop kick. And now big time German into the bridge from the Intercontinental Champion. Sami Zayn has fought the best. He has beaten the best. A hump in the road a few weeks ago against Baron Corbin. Ain't going to be enough to slow down your Intercontinental Champion. Well, as this matchup progresses, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, each and every Wednesday afternoon, we are live on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel for the Raw and SmackDown exclusive Velocity Shared event. Well, coming up this Wednesday, only on TikTok, SmackDown Superstar is going to take center stage as the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. J.D. McDonough goes one-on-one -on -one with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. Velocity has been a center stage for Raw and SmackDown superstars to gain momentum. Those two men from SmackDown, Tyler Bate and J.D. McDonough, coming up this Wednesday only on TikTok. Let's focus in on the action at hand. Sami Zayn dropping Cedric moments ago. And there's a second Tornado DDT. The Intercontinental Champion going with what works. Sami not looking to overthink it tonight. And a physical battle against Carmelo Hayes. Back at the draft lottery and a blue thunderbomb on that night. One of the reasons he was able to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Sammy had some nagging injuries coming out of that matchup. One of the reasons that Baron Corbin was able to pick up the victory a few weeks ago. Sammy not going to lean on those injuries. Just going to shake off the cobwebs and come out swinging with victory tonight. Maybe easier said than done. As Cedric Alexander rubbing up the engines against the champion. Could be a major upset tonight if Cedric Alexander can take down the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. Could not allow himself to make mistakes like that. Looking going for that Spanish fly that he likes to incorporate in his contest, but Sami Zayn was able to outrun him that time. Sami Zayn, however, not able to outrun. Or Tornado DDT dis right back. Now Cedric with a brain buster. Alexander looking for his moment in the sun. And Sami Zayn getting the shoulder up again. Zayn knows that victory tonight is important. Coming off a loss to Baron Corbin two weeks ago. As we mentioned earlier, not looking to be a champion that is not worthy of his gold. The exploder there, trying to get back into this matchup against Cedric Alexander. Cedric may be in trouble as Sami Zayn laser focused on victory. Haluva kick, enough to knock anybody's lights out twice on Monday. And that'll do it. Cedric Alexander putting up a fight, but Sami Zayn found himself desperately wanting victory tonight. 
One bump in the road against Baron Corbin a few weeks ago. Not enough to kill the confidence of the Intercontinental Champion. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cut back to the ring. Sami Zayn's got company. Karrion Cross just ambushed Sami Zayn during the replay. And now what? Oh, what the hell is this? The Harbinger of Doom. Cross has got a table in the ring. And the Intercontinental Champion doesn't know what hit him. Well, Baron Corbin has had his issues with both of these men. Cross was sent through a table by Corbin a few weeks ago in the backstage area. Cross is looking to dish that same punishment to now Sami Zayn, who is in trouble. Zayn through the table by hands of Karrion Cross. The Harbinger of Doom doing what he wants, when he wants, and may have just set his sights on the Intercontinental Championship. Seven nights ago, here on the Red Brand, we found ourselves in the middle of a matchup between Tiffany Stratton and Cora Jade, one that Cora was waiting weeks for and made the most of the opportunity. And inside Cradle, catching the buff Barbie off guard, Cora Jade picking up a huge victory, unfortunately was unable to bask in the glory of that win, thanks to the arrival of the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley making her presence felt, ambushing Cora Jade and dishing it to Tiffany Stratton all at the same time. Rhea has had one goal in mind, and that's getting another opportunity at the WWE Women's Championship. Well, that anarchy did not end there as Bianca Belair later in the night made her return to Monday Night Raw after being drafted a few weeks ago. Huge victory over Zaya Lee. Same situation following the EST. Bianca Belair soaking in the pageantry of her victory. Unfortunately for her, Rhea Ripley blindsiding the EST with yet another attack. Rhea will not be settled until she gets the championship that she lost at WrestleMania back around her waist. Well, Rhea Ripley has certainly gotten the attention of the most important person in the women's division, that being Liv Morgan, the holder of the championship gold. And we can confirm that the WrestleMania rematch is on the trilogy fight. Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, run it for the fourth, third time in 2024 for the WWE Women's Championship. That's coming up a week from Saturday at Vengeance. Well, Liv Morgan's got to focus on the task at hand. She's in action right here, right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the WWE Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. You know, Liv Morgan has had many a doubters throughout her career, but they have certainly been loud over the last few months. Many believing that Liv Morgan pulled off a fluke at WrestleMania when she defeated Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's Championship. Liv Morgan, of course, with a successful retention of that gold back in San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash against Tiffany Stratton a few weeks ago. But at Vengeance is where the eyes will be on Liv Morgan. A chance to silence her doubters and prove her supporters right. The trilogy matchup against Rhea Ripley. Go big or go home. The title hangs in the balance. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper. Well, it looks like Piper Niven has already made some friends upon being drafted to Monday Night Raw. What is this, the Mean Girls Club walking down the aisle? Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville following Piper Niven to her contest tonight. Liv Morgan has had some recent exchanges with both of those women, defeated Sonya Deville in singles action a number of weeks ago, ran into Green and Deville as well as Tiffany Stratton in six-woman tag team action as well back in the draft lottery. Nonetheless, Liv Morgan has got more of a target on her back than ever and now thought she was going into a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Looks like she's going to have to keep eyes in the back of her head with Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville looming at ringside. Well, nonetheless, you could say whatever you want about Liv Morgan's victory back at WrestleMania and her championship reign since. But Liv Morgan has never been somebody to turn away a fight, but maybe so close to a trilogy fight against Rhea Ripley it would have been best served for the champion if she did not sign her name on the contract for a matchup with 
Scotland's own Piper Niven. On the last Piper Niven drafted to Monday Night Raw, courtesy of Friday Night Smackdown a number of weeks ago. Not somebody who saw too much action on Friday nights looking to write a different story here on Mondays. Liv Morgan feeling the brunt of it since the opening bell. Piper Niven certainly coming to Raw with a point to prove, but Liv Morgan's got her own point to prove. Not just at Vengeance, but on the road to it. Guillotine locked in. Great transition into the submission hole. They would have muscled down the much bigger, stronger competitor. Liv Morgan's got a stick and move in this matchup to try to outrun Piper Niven. Obviously easier said than done. The champion getting caught off guard with a massive headbutt and elbow to the heart. Less than two weeks before she goes one-on-one -on -one once more with the Nightmare Rhea Ripley for the third time at a live premiere event in 2024. Liv Morgan finding herself between a rock and a hard place. Piper Niven in the ring, Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville outside of it. Gotta imagine Liv Morgan had her eyes glued to the screens last week. Saw the destruction that Rhea Ripley loomed upon the women's division with. As you saw, laying out Bianca Belair, shots at Cora Jade and Tiffany Stratton. That was only one week removed from a dominating victory for Rhea Ripley against Katana Chance right here on Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, three of the four members of the Judgment Day that lost their gold back at WrestleMania and have returned over the last few weeks trying to make a statement on their way to challenging for championship gold again. Meanwhile, Liv Morgan with her own statement to make. Code breaker to Niven. Piper, however, not allowing an oblivion attempt. Liv Morgan may be in trouble tonight, does not want to find herself in the losing column on the road to what may be the most important match of her WWE career thus far. Winning the championship is one story, but keeping it is another. As we mentioned, many have called Liv Morgan's championship reign a Cinderella story, a fluke victory at, at WrestleMania against Rhea Ripley. Vengeance a chance to prove the naysayers wrong. If Liv Morgan comes up short tonight against Piper Niven, that could be the confidence killer that the champion does not need. Heading, in, heading into a matchup with a woman who ruled the Monday Night Raw roster with an iron fist for the better part of six months here on Monday nights. And the last Piper Niven sent to the outside. Liv Morgan, huge reversal that time. Credit where credit's due, great strength showed and great agility to follow it up with a tote base to a seat into the outside. The WWE Women's Champion has never been down, never been one, excuse me, to lie down for anybody. She's not going to start tonight against Piper Niven. The fight goes to the outside, Liv Morgan willing to meet it there. Liv, I'm sure, feels she needs victory tonight in a desperate matter to gain as much momentum as she can and get into the mind of Rhea Ripley, reminding the nightmare that Liv Morgan isn't just some transitional champion here on Monday Night Raw. Oof. And Piper Niven, even when you think Liv Morgan's gotten back into this matchup, Niven just explodes onto the scene, not allowing Liv to get anywhere near the driver's seat. And again with that elbow drop. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville looking on as Piper Niven does some damage to the WWE Women's Champion. Whatever relationship has formed between those trio of women, the rest of the Raw Women's Division better watch out as Piper Niven muscling up the champion and may have just ended her night on the wrong accord. And Liv Morgan able to survive one more moment in this matchup, but you gotta believe damage done to your WWE Women's Champion. Great appreciation showed by the Portland, Oregon crowd here in the Moda Center. Piper Niven looking to explode on the scene, looking for victory upon her Monday Night Raw debut tonight. Newest draftee, courtesy of Friday Night Smackdown, facing the head honcho of the women's division here on Raw, Liv Morgan. Again, able to muscle up Piper Niven. The momentum of the ropes certainly helping the champion that time. 
Unfortunately, not able to get the three count. Liv Morgan needs to hurry up and get victories. As this matchup progresses, Liv is risking further injury. And going into a matchup with Rhea Ripley a week from Saturday, Liv Morgan cannot risk being anywhere too far from where 100% Tilt to world, down goes Niven. Oblivion! Liv Morgan striking while the iron's hot. Piper Niven putting up a hell of a fight, but the champion better than she's ever been. Here is your winner, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan is gonna have her hands full coming up with vengeance, but tonight, Oh, wait a minute. The Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, attacking Liv Morgan from behind. And has got the WWE Women's Championship in her grasp for the first time since WrestleMania. And Liv Morgan, her own championship being used against her. Rhea has laid waste, stomped over anybody who has gotten in her way over the last few weeks. Rhea is coming back for the gold, looking to eradicate Liv Morgan a week from Saturday at Vengeance. We want to take you back to last week in the main event of Monday Night Raw, the WWE Champion Kevin Owens one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles. Kevin Owens surviving one of the best that Monday Night Raw now has to offer the OC newest Raw property after the draft a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, it was a short-lived celebration for Kevin Owens as he was ambushed from behind by a surprising Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style. Nakamura a few weeks ago made his return for the first time since coming up short to CM Punk at WrestleMania. Nakamura has been on a tear ever since. And we have been speculating on words that Shinsuke Nakamura told WWE.com the day of his return a few weeks ago at the draft lottery. Nakamura simply said he had made a list, checked it twice, and kept his receipts. We went on and on speculating on what Nakamura could be referring to and who he could be referring about. Evidently, Nakamura revealed his true colors last week ambushing the WWE Champion all throughout the arena. And for Nakamura, this goes back to a couple of months ago. Saturday night's main event in Atlanta, February the 17th, to be exact. Kevin Owens stood alongside CM Punk against the WWE Champion Seth Rollins and Nakamura. Kevin Owens pinning Nakamura on that night. Well, Shinsuke evidently blames the prize fighter for derailing his momentum on the road to his match with CM Punk at WrestleMania. Back at Saturday night's main event, Nakamura has not forgotten. Well, Shinsuke struck seven nights ago, and now he's gonna have his chance to get the ultimate revenge on Kevin Owens. One week from Saturday at the Raw exclusive Vengeance event, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, takes on the Royal Rumble match winner of 2024, and most importantly, the champion, Kevin Owens. And we can also confirm the Intercontinental Championship gonna be on the line at Vengeance when Sami Zayn defends in a triple threat tables matchup against Karrion Cross and Baron Corbin. Corbin put Cross through a table. Cross has put Zayn through a table. But will Zayn be able to put either of these men through a table to retain his IC title? Earlier tonight, Damian Priest pitting Jimmy Uso, and the Judgment Day have chosen a Tornado Tag Team matchup. It all goes back to December, when the Judgment Day beat the Brawling Brutes in a Tornado Tag Team match to win their second World Tag Team titles. Priest and Balor have had success in this stipulation, and they're hoping to run it back against the Usos in the WrestleMania rematch. One week from Saturday in Bakersfield, California, as Raw presents Vengeance. But we still got action, live and in living color. It is main event time for the Moda Center in Portland, Oregon. And here comes a man who's gonna have his hands full in his own way, coming up in Bakersfield, when Seth Rollins goes one-on-one -on -one with the megastar, LA Knight. But before Rollins gets there, he goes one-on-one -on -one with one of Raw's newest draftees, Dijak. The following is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The visionary looks to build momentum towards his collision with the megastar. Seth freaking Rollins is live in your main event as Monday Night Raw continues up next. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Brawl and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday only on TikTok. Next week, Raw is live from Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, California. And on the final Raw before Vengeance, the number one contender to the women's title, Rhea Ripley, takes on Cora Jade. Jade looking for a measure of revenge next week in LA. And the harbinger of doom, Karrion Cross, he put the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn through a table earlier tonight. Well, Zayn's best friend, the WWE Champion Kevin Owens, looks for his own me measure of payback as these two men reignite their rivalry next week on Raw. And the megastar LA Knight has got a colossal meeting with the Nigerian giant Omas. Both of these men with their own encounters to look forward to at Vengeance. LA Knight returns to Los Angeles to take on Omas live next week in Crypto.com Arena in the City of Angels on Monday Night Raw. LA Knight gonna have his hands full of Omas next week. And he's got a hope. He's got to pray that he survives that collision so he can get his hands on the visionary Seth freaking Rollins in Bakersfield. Seth Rollins better hopes he survives this collision with a hungry Dijak tonight. And his opponent from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dijak! Dijak is no stranger to the bright lights of Monday Night Raw. It was just over a year ago that Dijak was right here on the red brand, teaming with Damian Priest before the days of the Judgment Day as World Tag Team Champions. Well, it was last March that Dijak, after WrestleMania, was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown. An injury kept him on the shelf for a couple of months. His SmackDown contract expired. Dijak took his talents down to NXT in Orlando, really reinvented himself ever since, and then was drafted to Raw a few weeks ago. Now back in the bright lights of the red brand, Dijak looking to make an impact. Already went one-on-one -on -one with Braun Breaker just a few weeks back on Velocity. Unfortunately, a losing effort for that man, but the stakes couldn't be any higher. Dijak's return to Monday Night Raw is live in the main event against a man who held the WWE Championship for the better part of a year, Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins looking like he doesn't know what hit him. A lot more riding on this match for Dijak, if you will, than the visionary. Seth freaking Rollins, a future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. And his next fight already signed, one-on-one -on -one with LA Knight in Bakersfield, California, a week from Saturday at Vengeance. But for Dijak, it is really a chance tonight to take the next step on the red brand. An impressive showing followed by victory could really make a lot of noise for that returning superstar. Easier said than done when you were in there with a man who held the WWE Championship from August 20th, 2023, all the way till Sunday night, March 3rd, 2024. Seth Rollins, I am sure, is keeping his WWE Championship aspirations not too far from the back of his mind, but first he's got to get through LA Knight at Vengeance. But before that, he's got to find a way to get through Dijak here tonight on Raw. Dijak coming out swinging since the opening bell. Not interested in collar and elbow tie-ups and a feeling out process. He knows what the visionary is all about. He sat back and watched Rollins dominate Monday Night Raw for the better part of a year and is looking to give the fight to the visionary. Seth freaking Rollins forced to meet him in the middle in terms of the pace of this matchup. 
Rollins looking to soak in the pageantry here in the Moda Center tonight. Better not take his eyes off a strong and tall and motivated Dijak who's looking to send him halfway across the ring and he does. Seth Rollins looking like he doesn't know what hit him. May have bit off more than he can chew with this main event encounter tonight. So close to his match with LA Knight and Vengeance. Several shots by Dijak and Seth Rollins looks like he's trying to blow off this matchup. Looks like Rollins has said, I had enough. I got the megastar LA Knight at Vengeance. I don't need this matchup tonight here on Raw. Oh, wait a minute. LA Knight meeting Seth Rollins in the aisle way, not allowing Rollins to escape. LA Knight with a little shot to the jaw. Referee's discretion goes. Rollins attempt to flee. Does got not go the way he thinks. Dijak with his eyes locked on Rollins. Step up, look at the agility of the big man. Seth Rollins better get his head on straight or Dijak's gonna eat him alive tonight in the Moda Center. This thing breaking down to a game of fisticuffs a few moments ago. Rollins trying to flee the scene. And is the man he will fight at Vengeance, the megastar LA Knight, not allowing Rollins to get away. Issues between LA Knight and Seth Rollins have really developed over the last couple of months. It all started on the Raw prior to WrestleMania where LA Knight was left high and dry in a tag team matchup by Seth freaking Rollins. A similar pursuit of the WWE Championship really meant them at the crossroads on the road to Backlash, spent weeks trying to tear each other apart. Seth Rollins has already blamed LA Knight publicly on social media and in the backstage area, saying if LA Knight wasn't involved in that fatal for a match at Backlash, Rollins would be standing here WWE Champion. Well, Rollins, after he tries to find a way to get through Dijak tonight, looks to try to eliminate the LA Knight equation. Coming up at Vengeance, LA Knight looking to use Seth Rollins as a stepping stone in his Monday Night Raw career. And look at Rollins go. Whether you like Seth Rollins, whether you hate Seth Rollins, nobody is denying the talent, the agility. You are seeing firsthand why the visionary was on top of Raw for so long throughout 2023 and into 2024. Dijak really controlling the early part of this matchup and Rollins has immediately slowed down the pace. Blockbuster, the Acai Moonsault, and now using the ropes to his advantage, trying to take out the breathing abilities of Dijak. And Rollins on the top here. Dijak on spaghetti, legs and a crossbody for his troubles. Rollins are going to take things home. Not just yet. Seth Rollins needs to realize that he is in there with a motivated superstar. Dijak back here on Monday Night Raw, and I'm sure he has got his eyes locked on championship gold. It all start here tonight, but not if Rollins has anything to say about it. Buckle bomb into the corner. Seth Rollins breaking out the heavy artillery springboard swanton. Unfortunately, the revolutionary does not find his way to victory just yet. Impressive showing by a returning Dijak thus far. Can he survive? Seth Rollins onslaught. Discus boot to the jaw. Will that do it? Not enough just yet. Extremely physical matchup since the opening bell. Dijak really set the pace. Just charging right at Seth Rollins as the match begun. And now, feast your eyes for one of Raw's newest superstars. And Seth Rollins barely able to get the shoulder off the canvas. Dijak within inches of upsetting one of Monday Night Raw's All-Stars. Portland, Oregon on their feet. As Dijak trying to pull out the heavy artillery. Seth freaking Rollins able to survive. Rollins looking for an easy way out. Stacking up Dijak with the pinfall. Almost stole the victory. Man, Rollins wants to get this matchup done and over with and wants victory on his side. Rollins wants to turn his 100% focus to LA Knight at Vengeance. Unfortunately, not able to do so just yet. 
LA Knight going to be in action in Los Angeles, California next week on Raw. Going to have his hands certainly full with the Nigerian giant Omos. Tonight, Seth Rollins testing his hand against Dijak, who has brought this fight to the outside and certainly not to the behest of the visionary. Dijak coming back inside the ring now. Rollins creating a little distance. Looks like he was warming up for maybe a super kick there. Dijak with those long limbs able to stop Rollins dead in his tracks. Visionary's got to figure out a window of opportunity here, but Dijak may be on the verge of the biggest victory he could possibly imagine here tonight. From the top, Spanish fly, the agility of that big man. Seth Rollins may be down, he may be out. Springboard, crossbody. Don't take your eyes off of Dijak. Don't let the size deceive you. One of the most agile superstars this industry has to offer. Now from the top, nobody home. Rollins are gonna take advantage. Curb stomp by the Irons hot. Dijak might have risked it all. Coming off the top, Seth Rollins secures victory in a hellacious Monday Night Raw main event. Seth Rollins wanted nothing to do with the fury of Dijak, tried to flee the scene. The megastar LA Knight showing his colors tonight. But Seth Rollins able to survive. Momentum on the side of the revolutionary, heading into a collision with the megastar a week from Saturday. Here's your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. Next week, in Los Angeles, California, on the final Monday Night Raw before Vengeance, LA Knight, one-on-one -on -one with Omos, Karrion Cross takes on the WWE Champion Kevin Owens, Cora Jade versus Rhea Ripley, and so much more. Monday Night Raw locker room tensions are at an all-time high as Vengeance approaches.